Hey guys, Friday the 13th, September the 13th. Don't uh, don't uh, don't be eating any black cats or walking under any ladders, okay? I just thought I'd give you a quick update what we've done here. I pretty much I think got the under the uh, truck motor the way I want it. Um, I actually had it hooked up into this passenger car and it will pull that passenger car but it doesn't pull it the way I would like it to pull it. Now, if I had two motors, two trucks, it'd scoot that puppy down the line uh, with absolutely no problem. Uh, this is never going to be a freight hauler. So what I did was I put it underneath a, uh, a 500 series uh, um, gondola. And if you're wondering what, what the, uh, the uh, uh, tank is doing, it's weight for those wheels. The, I... It just runs better with a little bit of traction, but I'll show you it runs fine without it. But uh, this is what we've got, and uh, I think it I think it went together pretty well. It's basically eleven to one ratio. Uh, it doesn't take much power to get it to go on, which is nice. And uh, I've been running the ever living hell out of it. I've probably been running it now for about the last half hour, forty five minutes, pulling weight with it. This, that, and the other. The motor doesn't heat up. Uh, I haven't stripped any gears, uh, and it uh, it seems to do pretty good. So here we go. Now that's that's all the power I gave it right there. Very little. not too noisy I forgot I had it on the inside track not the outside track we give her a little bit of gasoline here So it'll pull it'll pull that little caboose without any problem and I mean, let's face it it's pulling that if you knew how heavy that tank was, that tank is quite a load. All right, we'll uh, take the tank out and sit it thusly, and we'll run it without it. Okay, now let me see if I can get this apart and show it to you guys. I'm going to set my phone down. All right, I cannot do this stuff one-handed. Just can't do it. So, here we go. This is what we've got. Now, I've actually kind of turned this thing into a builder motor to tell you the truth. If you'll notice, one side is die cast, pressed on. The other side is a 200 series template wheel that I modified put an axle collet on it and put a uh, uh, a set screw and I can I can adjust it and I'm using a uh, I don't know I call it a rave uh, a diode rectifier but it's only a half wave it's uh, soldered to one side of the motor and then to the frame for the ground so this thing as I've got it right now can completely can be completely taken apart the only thing that would be is solid is the die cast wheel that I had to press on. So it's not uh, it's not too bad. Here again. I ought to try a different way of doing it with a camera. But uh, 
you can see it uh, it's it's smooth of course it ought to be I've ran it a lot I've got the gears broke in and uh, that I could if it wasn't for the fact that I've got these pinched on it it just all drops right out of there so I think we're pretty much done with that. Like I say, if I wanted to pull that car, that passenger car, I'd have to have two of these because uh, it will pull it, and once it gets it going, it runs well. But uh, uh, you'll just burn the motor up in time, and this seems to work pretty good with this. So I just need to, need to build something around it, or uh, who knows, maybe make, uh, like Lionel did, uh, a motorized gondola. But... Uh, that's where we're on, on that stuff. So basically the basically the motor's done. Now I've got another one in the process of making a uh, building, but uh, I, I doubt that I'll uh, bother uh, taking too many uh, videos of it and, unless we were to tie it together uh, with another motor and, and use it as a double unit. But the other thing that I'm working on right now, I'll show you. This is the knives. It's a narrow, uh, narrow frame motor, and this is what this is how Ives has it set up. And what's really neat is they uh, they threaded this this axle, and the axle is the stop for the wheel. The wheel screws up against it, then you look use this lock nut. And it's all engaged. Well, what I'm going to do, and since it's a narrow uh, framed motor, I bought another uh, narrow frame motor. And when my friend gets back, we're going to go to his uh, shop. And it's the same wheels, everything's threaded, but it's going to be cut in farther. And we're going to change it to one gauge. So we're going to gauge it, gauge it down. I'm not going to have to change anything. All I'm going to have to do basically is I'll thread this side, which will push the wheels closer together. And I've already been screwing with it. Uh, instead of threading both sides, I'm just going to thread to one side. And the pickup will be about three quarters on the center rail. I really don't want to mess with this, uh, with this geared uh, side. There's only a little bit of axle left that you could thread to move that wheel in any farther. But like I say, I bought extra axles. I'm not going to use this one, but I will make axles to use in this one and we'll try to engage. So that's where we're at right now, guys. So I'm, I'm well pleased with the, with the way this, uh, this thing turned out. If I was going to do anything else to it, I'd try and put a, uh, a pickup on it. It would be nice if it had its own pickup. Uh, with the uh, motors in, in the in the center, I'm, I'm kind of running out of room as to where I can attach stuff. So there you go. You guys have a good weekend. Uh, stay safe, and uh, we'll talk with you later. Toodaloo.